And I'm super excited to be here tonight. I actually love, love, love talking about spa products. So tonight we're gonna to be talking about Royal Spa. So Royal Spa is actually one of our personal care product lines. We have actually quite a few. Um, last week I talked about Fix. We also have a lot of skincare lines and our body care and skincare that's just like two divisions of a larger company. We actually have over a dozen different divisions. So, um, but tonight I really wanna break down Royal Spa and just kind of fill you in on a little bit more in-depth knowledge. So if you guys have ever used Royal Spa, because I know some of you probably have, I want you to type in the, uh, the questions or the chat box what product is your favorite Royal Spa product? Because we have quite a few we're gonna go through tonight. So for those of you that don't know who I am, um, my name is Lee Rader. So this is a picture of me, so you kind of hear whose voice this is. Now, I do wanna let you guys know if you're watching this live, I will stay and answer your questions at the end. So throughout the broadcast, if you want to go ahead and type your questions in um, while you're thinking about it, while I'm talking about something, I will stay and answer every single question, um, no matter what it is. So I'll stay as long as I have to. If you're watching the recording, um, of course you won't be able to hear that session. I do turn off the recording at that time, but you can always reach out to me if you have questions. We have so much on our website, which almost all the information I'm gonna go through with you is from our website. Um, but I've been a cosmetologist for 25 years. Um, so, you know, I tell you guys that because I have used probably every product line that I can get my hands on as a professional. Um, I'm also a former salon owner. I had my salon for about 12 years. So I know what that's like as well. And I actually retired a few years ago from that and I became a global educator with this company, um, which is just, Gosh, it's just been such a journey because really my passion is to help other people like me, not only professionals, but maybe people who want to get into the industry more. Um, I'm all about, because I have kind of a business mind, I am all about numbers as well. So, you know, I can help salons and spas, you know, bring in more revenue in a time when that's quite difficult right now. The industry is really evolving. And I'll talk a little bit about that tonight. And I mean, you name it, I've been trained in it. Um, I think that that's one of the beauties of the beauty industry as I've never gotten bored. Um, you know, I, I list some of the things that I am trained in and I am licensed and I am, um, you know, have certificates in. And I tell you that because like I said, I've been in all aspects of the industry. I've been trained by some of the top educators in the industry. I've used everything. And when I talk about these personal care products, how the quality is so amazing and how they can make a difference in either your business or your lives in general, um, that's pretty cool. Because of this company and these products, I was able to retire and I'm able to be home more. I'm able to travel when I can go where I want, when I want. Um, I just got home from my son's baseball game. I'm there for almost everything now. Um, so it's just been a blessing for me. And it's also a blessing for those I get to work with because we all have different goals and dreams. And um, this company gives you the vehicle to achieve that. So it's really important that you if you don't know what all of that means, I'm not gonna talk about that tonight. I'm more so gonna talk about products, but just reach out to the person that invited you to this webinar and get some of your questions answered. Um, maybe see what this opportunity is about. It's really not like anything else out there and that's really important to understand. Um, but do your, do, you know, your due diligence and, and definitely, look in a little further to what we have. So I promised that I was gonna talk a little bit about the beauty industry. And why is this important is because you guys, it's changing. It's been changing, especially when we look at the growth of it. Um, 
the global beauty and personal care product market is going to grow to about $750 billion by 2024. Now, this is not doing services on people. This is strictly products, strictly retail, um, and that's global. So I think it's really important to know because more and more salons and professionals that I talk to, they're actually getting rid of their product lines because of the way things are going with diversion and online shopping and things like that. They can't compete. And what's really cool is we have a system where you don't have to compete. Um, it's, it's a really brilliant system. It's a really brilliant tracking system, but you guys don't have to give up that revenue because I don't know about you, but I want a piece of that. We know people are buying personal care and beauty products. So why not have the professional products that you can offer to your clients? It just makes sense to me. So when we look at some more beauty trends, um, this one we've been kind of seeing for a little while, but it's treating your body as you would your face. So body skin care will become as important as skin care for the face. So I think, you know, we can kind of see that in the marketplace where we're going to see cleansers, serums, and acid exfoliators for the body in addition to moisturizers with SPF. So people are just realizing, you know, we need to take care of our bodies just as we would our face. You know, why aren't we exfoliating? Why aren't we, you know, doing these treatments on our body? Because I don't know about you, but I wanna make sure that I'm looking good from head to toe. So what are those challenges that I mentioned? I mentioned the word diversion. Now, I don't know, some of you are probably in the industry, some of you probably aren't. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know why you're here. I don't know what you wanna learn, but it's really important to know from even the standpoint of a consumer, what's going on out there. Because I'm all about helping small businesses. I'm all about helping those people that I know. And, you know, like I said, we have a system where we can do that. But basically what's happening is all the major brands are really bypassing the professionals and going straight to the consumer. So um, if you think back to even 25 years ago when I started, you know, my cosmetology career, we always had certain products that were professional you could only get them from professionals in a salon. They were for that use only. Um, and, you know, we were trained by those companies in the products. You know, it's somewhat what I'm doing tonight, product knowledge, but we are also given a lot of um, technical education, you know, how to do different haircuts, how to do different color techniques. And, you know, it was, it was a really, it was awesome because we had a ton of education out there. And then we became experts in those products and we could help our clients with them. You know, we knew everything about them. We knew what they did. We could teach our clients how to use them. And basically, the professionals made these brands um, what they are. Um, if you think back to then, I mean, how else were they going to get their name out there, right? So they use the professionals to do that. And it makes sense, right? It just makes sense that that's how it was. But now, if you think of where are people buying beauty products or personal care products or hair care products, they're buying them either online or they're going to like the Sephora and Ulta's. Um, they're going other places to get them. And that's a huge, huge profit loss for salons. Um, not only is it a profit loss, but they're not getting the education from these companies as much anymore either. Um, they used to come right to the salon and give the education. And now people are having to travel and pay thousands of dollars to find education. And even that, it's, it's not as good as it used to be. Um, so, like I said, that's why salons are kind of like, well, maybe we just should even have retail. Maybe we should do so many, you know, so many more services. Maybe we should learn how to do this and do that. Um, but in a really competitive market, that's really hard, too. And you can only do so many services at the end of the day. Um, even me working 13 hours behind the chair, it was still hard to, I, I mean, it, I, I was busy. I had three clients at a time. I was booked solid for, you know, four months straight. And it was just still really hard to increase revenue for myself working that many hours. So it makes sense when you look at things because there really are seven mega companies that really own pretty much every brand you can think of. Um, I mean, like I, I always open up eye, people's eyes when they look at this because they're like, oh, well, Aveda, that's a professional company. 
but it's actually now owned by Estee Lauder and they've actually owned them for quite a while. Um, and they also own over the counter, you know, things as well. So, you know, things have changed. So it kind of makes sense to me when I look at who owns who, why all these products are ending up in the big box stores and why they're ending up on Amazon and why they're ending up on eBay and why a lot of these companies are just having their own website and keeping all the profit because they can bypass the salon and make more money. And that's really what they're all about. Um, so tonight, I'm actually going to tell you about another option, what we have. And I wish I put our mission statement in here, but our company is all about how can we make people in the field more successful? It's not about how can we list our products in, on even more online platforms. So yes, with every single partnership option that we have through Motives Cosmetics or through our Royal Spa or Fix Line or however you want to say it, you get your own website and all of the customers that go to your website and create a customer account, those sales will always be linked to you no matter what. Um, our company doesn't want that. They don't want to keep that. They actually want to make us successful. So it's very different with everything else that's going on out there. Um, so you know what? I would rather support the smaller companies, you know, the, the people that are making a difference in, in the professionals' lives yet, not these mega companies that are controlling all the advertising, everything that's out there, and really kind of the market share, if we really think about it. So sales through salons have shifted to other channels, such as Amazon, Sephora, which means that there isn't enough money to justify delivering all those education programs that I talked about. Um, and staffing the field sales team and service to the salons. I know, actually, there was a huge announcement, I believe it was last week, that now um, Amazon's actually going to have a professional distributorship section where you know, people won't actually need to go to the salon distributors anymore. They can just get everything right from Amazon. So, um, you know what, it's going to really, it's going to affect the industry even more now. Um, you know, and you can't blame, you can't blame like clients because of course they want convenience. They want online. When we look at the statistics of that, um, clients want to actually buy products online. So it only makes sense that you would have an online presence. Um, but it's not all diversion, guys. It's not all fake products. A lot of professionals will tell you that. And yes, there is some of that going on. However, like I said, a lot of the companies are going directly to consumer um, because they can. So what is the solution? Well, we have our Royal Spa line. And basically, this slide is just telling you kind of an overall sort of synopsis of the brand. But when I go through some of the ingredients, you're going to see that they're actually made with like plant based ingredients, which a lot of people love right now. I think you can you can agree with me that a lot of people are looking for things with, you know, those natural ingredients and um, different essences and different, you know, oils and things like that. Um, you'll see that a lot of them have things such as aloe vera and chamomile in. But really, the extensive line is designed to address the most essential body care needs with effective gentle formulas that include the relaxing experience of a spa treatment. So just like last week, if you caught my six webinar, I carried these products in my salon. And what was really cool about it is clients would actually say to me, oh my gosh, I love that product you recommended to me. And you know what? I actually tried to find it at like TJ Maxx or Ulta or wherever they were, and I couldn't find it there. And I'm like, yeah, that's good because I want to like make sure that they're not only using the correct product, but I can actually answer their questions and follow up with them and like be that beauty expert for them. And that's really what I pride myself in being. So if you have used Royal Spa before, you're probably noticing that we have a whole new look for our line. Uh, we revamped the packaging recently. So um, it used to look quite a bit different than it does now. So if you're kind of like confused by the look, this is our new Royal Spa line, has a whole new look. All right, so let's just dive right into the products because I know that's why you're all here. Uh, so the first one I want to start with is actually one of my favorite products, and I'll probably say that throughout the broadcast, FYI, because I do, you know, use a lot of these, almost all of them. 
um, on a regular basis. But this one is actually one of our new products and it's called the Foaming Brown Sugar Body Scrub. And you guys, what I love about this is it actually suds up when you use it in the shower. So if you've ever used exfoliating things for your body before, um, I've actually never found one that suds up this nice and ex exfoliates. So it's kind of giving like that luxury experience, but it's using brown sugar crystals to kind of polish away that dull rough skin. Um, it also has some walnut shell powder in it to help kind of exfoliate and soften the skin as well. And it smells like brown sugar. So if you guys like the scent of brown sugar, you'll love this. But it does make sense, right, that we need to like exfoliate our skin before we moisturize so our moisturizer can actually penetrate into our skin and just give us a more, you know, silky, silky skin. So it's important to do that. And on each slide, you'll notice that I actually have um, our unfranchised owner cost, our suggested retail cost, and then the BV that's associated with each product, which is how we calculate commissions from the company. So some of the points are some of the active ingredients in the foaming brown sugar body scrub is it has the sugar crystals, which like I said, is going to act as that mechanical exfoliant. And it also has that walnut shell um, powder in there as well. And it's really fine. So it's actually not going to be jagged or rough on your skin. So you don't have to worry about it. It's very gentle. Um, it's, it's just really, really good. So how do you use it? You know, I just put a little bit in the palms of your hands and massage that into wet skin. I love using it like on my elbows, um, on my arms and kind of on my shoulders and um, back of my neck, you know, anywhere that you kind of want where that exfoliating action. And you can use it about two to three times a week in place of a body cleanser. So, you know, it will kind of cleanse because it has that foaming action. So you can use it in place of your cleanser. On the other days, I recommend using the Nourishing Brown Sugar Bath and Shower Gel. Um, this is a really nice lather. It won't dry your skin out like soap does, and it does have that uh, brown sugar smell as well. And by the way, it is kind of this bronzy color, but it won't stain your skin, so don't worry about that. Um, it just kind of is that caramel bronzy color in the bottle, and it just looks really pretty. And then our third product that goes with that line is the Moisturizing Brown Sugar Body Lotion. And this is a great moisturizer, smells like that brown sugar again, very conditioning, leaves the skin just really, really soft. Um, and I actually like to use all three of those. Like it's, it's funny because I, I was somewhere at an appointment and I was like in a small waiting room and they came in and they're like, ooh, they're like, what smells so good in here? It kind of smells like, you know, like sugar or, or something. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's my actual like brown sugar stuff that I'm wearing. So I'm using it on my body. So it was kind of funny that they could smell that. Now, I know that that's not for everybody. Some people are like a little bit, they're like, that's yeah, a little bit too sweet smelling for me. Um, so for those of you that don't really want to smell like brown sugar, we actually have our Imperial Blend Bath and Shower Gel. And this is a great product as well. I actually use this in my bubble baths when I do um, take, you know, a relaxing bath. Um, and this has like little beads in it. So it actually has little like uh, moisturizing beads in it. And again, it won't, you know, dry the skin out. It's very silky um, and it promotes skin elasticity for softer, younger looking skin. So who doesn't want that? But when you look at the vitamins in here, you guys, it's, it's got vitamin A, vitamin E, um, and it also has apple extract in there as well, which can actually help protect your skin from environmental stressors. And it helps to maintain a radiant glow. Um, so I wanna know from you guys, if you wanna put in the comments, like, are you more of like the brown sugar kind of person or do you kind of like more of this like kind of citrusy smell? And this one doesn't really have like a real powerful smell. I would say that it's pretty, uh, pretty low key. It doesn't have, very strong so um but i feel like it's a little bit thicker too it's it's a, a little bit more like gel like whereas i think the other one is just a little bit uh, thinner consistency as well um but i use them both i've got several different bathrooms that i have them in and fyi i actually use the the pumps from my uh fix products and i put them on my royal spa products when i'm done using them and then i just keep reusing them from there 
It also has a little bit of green tea extract in it as well. So that's a, a natural plant antioxidant, which promotes youthful looking skin and promotes healthy collagen as well. And glycerin is a naturally occurring ingredient. You'll see that actually in a lot of beauty care products because it attracts water to the skin and helps the skin smell, feel smoother and softer. So even where I live, you guys, like I'm in Wisconsin, it's very cold here in the winter. We've got our heat blasting. We've got, um, you know, obviously very little moisture in the air. And when I use this, I actually use it to shave my legs as well. My body does not get nearly as dry as it used to before I found these products. So absolutely wonderful products. And then it has citric acid in it as well, which is an alpha hydroxy acid found in many fruits. Um, but it's actually reported that it can help cleanse your skin and keep your skin feeling more firm and protect it from that environmental damage. And then um, our lotion that goes great with that is our smoothest silk hydrating lotion. It's got that light scent of vanilla, but not quite as strong as the brown sugar. Just very like subtle hints, like even my boys will use this lotion because they don't feel like it's as girly. So it's okay for you men. Um, you know, you gotta moisturize a little bit too, but it does soften and promote skin elasticity. So this one actually has aloe vera juice in it. So if you know anything about aloe vera, um, it does help calm and reduce irritation that can occur. Um, during exfoliation. So it's very soothing to the skin. So, um, you know, a lot of people love aloe based products right now. And when you see how many products we have with aloe in them, it's pretty awesome. All right. And then it also has squalene in, which is a natural component of human sebum. So it will actually help, um, you know, moisturize the skin. It's a conditioning agent too. But what I love about it is it this lotion isn't like thick or like greasy on the skin. It actually absorbs in and makes your skin feel soft. So um, this one I feel is great for your entire body, legs, arms, you know, wherever you want to put it. And it also has some vitamin C in it as well. And safflower seed oil. So safflower seed oil is actually... Uh, essential fatty acid, and it helps form a protective barrier on the skin. So it's going to help keep your skin uh, moisturized because it's going to trap the moisture in your skin. So amazing products to have or an ingredient to have in your lotion. But I'm not done. It also has some sweet almond oil in it as well. Um, and then vitamin A. And if you do any research on vitamin A, you'll see that that's an amazing ingredient to have in any skincare products because um, it actually helps maintain healthy collagen levels in your skin and protects them from free radical damage. So that is definitely something you want in your skincare. And that also has vitamin E in it as well. So I'm um, going to give more of that healthy and more youthful appearance. So I want you to, to let me know which one is your favorite lotion. Is it the smoothest silk hydrating lotion or is it the brown sugar um, nourishing lotion? All right, finally to some hair care products. Woohoo! Now, this was actually out of stock. It's back in stock now. This is like one of our top sellers. So um, you can get it right now. It's absolutely amazing for men, women. I don't care who you are. You guys need to be exfoliating your scalps, <laughs> especially when we look at some of the products we're using now. Um, actually, you may not have a lot of like sudsing factors such as sulfate free shampoos and things like that. We're not cleaning our scalps as well because of that. And then you actually look at all the dry shampoo people are using or all the styling products that they're using that are getting built up on the scalp. Your scalp needs a little help. So this is absolutely amazing. You can actually just uh, have salt granules that help exfoliate and remove that product buildup and dead skin, which leaves the scalp feeling smoother. Um, me being in the cosmetology industry as long as I have, I did a lot of haircuts over my years. And, um, you know, sometimes people would have like product buildup and their heads would almost get like their scalps would get itchy or they would have like dry scalp flakes coming off and they thought it was dandruff. They're like, what's going on? Um, we need to 
we need to actually take care of our scalps. I mean, think of everything that we do to the rest of our body. Why aren't we doing this? So I love that we have a product like this now. It is a newer product. We haven't had it that long. But how do you use it? You actually use about a tablespoon and you want to gently massage that onto the scalp. Um, you can add a little bit of water. It will lather up a little bit and then you can rinse thoroughly. You don't necessarily have to use a shampoo at that point, um, but you can if you feel like, if your hair is like longer like mine, sometimes I'll do the scalp scrub first and then I'll use shampoo kind of on the rest of my hair, just depending on you know, what, what I feel like doing or how long it's been since I've shampooed my hair. Um, but this is great for my boys. I have two teenage boys and um, they kind of have thick, longer hair as well. Not as long as mine, but you know, you, you know how the boys are wearing it now. And once in a while, I, I just tell them, you know what, use this in the, the shower, scrub your scalp real good, rinse it. Um, I actually was listening to something recently where they were talking about products like these that are on the market. And apparently there are some out there that use uh, different exfoliators in them. And there was a guy saying that when he would use it, whatever was in the product he was using actually would like get stuck in his chest hair. And like he would, he was like, it was a pain. This doesn't do that because it's that salt that's, you know, it's, it's using the abrasiveness of the salt which actually dissolves and rinses right off. So you don't get like that residue stuck in your hair. Um, it rinses out really easily. So they're not all created equal on the market guys. So we only have the best of the best because we are a product brokerage company and we find manufacturers to manufacture exactly what we want. Um, so like I said, all those hair styling products can really build up on your scalp over time. So you want to use this, um, I would say one to three times a week in place of your shampoo, but it really does depend how often you're shampooing. For me, I only shampoo twice a week, so I would use it probably every other time I shampoo or every third time. Um, it just kind of depends how, how my scalp feels. Now, is it safe for color treated hair? Yes and no. Um, if you have a fashion color, like if you've got like purple or blue or, you know, how some of you, I know I've got those like vibrant fashion colors. Uh, you want to be really careful with that because it does have the sodium in it. However, it's in a salt granule form. So it is safe for color treated hair. However, with fashion colors, even putting water on them can make your hair fade. So and I kind of covered that last week in my fixed webinar too, is color's number one enemy is water. So the you know least amount of times that you shampoo, the better for those vibrant colors. All right, so let's get into some of our shampoos. So the first one I wanna talk about is our Ultra 3 shampoo. And this one is great for chemically treated hair. Um, I've even had clients with like really high lift, like very blonde, uh, you know, overly porous hair. This is a great product for them because it kind of helps gently detangle and condition the hair, even though it's a shampoo. And it really does kind of add um, vitamins into the hair as well, kind of to strengthen it, makes it a little bit more glossy, and it won't fade the color or relax curl. Um, it also removes chemical processing odors. So if you've ever, you know, gotten a color or a perm or, you know, any kind of like chemical service and it was really hard to get that smell out of the hair, um, this is perfect. Or cigarette smoke, other unpleasant odors. Um, it's really great at removing all of that. And it's enriched with evening primrose, heather, jasmine, and orchid with vitamins A, E, and panthenol, which is a pro vitamin B5 to provide moisture to the hair. So this too has some aloe vera gel in it, which all is soothing to not only the scalp, but the hair. It has the heather extract in it as well, which is used to uh, for its stimulative properties. It has jasmine extract, which is used for gentle cleansing and soothing, orchid extract, hydrolyzed whole wheat protein, which is a protein that adds shine and luster to dull hair. So you actually want 
that in your shampoo and conditioner because it holds water in the hair shaft at increased levels. And it also has vitamin E in it as well. We amino acids, panthenol, that vitamin B5, vitamin A, and then D3, which is uh, has a lot of conditioning properties to it as well. So how do you use it? You wanna apply a small amount to wet hair. Now I'm always one for having you guys emulsify your shampoos in your hands first. They're gonna go a lot farther that way. So get it kind of sudsy and then work it into your hair. Um, use warm water, don't use really hot water because it's not good for your hair. And what other Royal Spa products can you use? I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna go over all of our styling products as well. Um, but you can really use all of these products even with the fixed products. So you don't think you have to stick with just one, one product line. Um, so why will this product help retain my, my hair color? Because it's for chemically treated hair and is made of ingredients that kind of help moisturize and then lock down that cuticle on the hair shaft, which is gonna lock the color molecules into your hair. All right, chamomile shampoo. So chamomile shampoo is more of like your purifying, like everyday cleansing shampoo, but it's still gentle because like every time I would think of like a clarifying shampoo in the industry, that means that it's a little bit more harsher on the hair. It's gonna kind of strip things out of the hair. Um, but this one is a gentle one. So you can use it daily. This is great for my boys. They love this one. It, um, it's enriched with botanical extracts, which I'll go over. And it's really meant to normalize the hair and enhance its natural beauty and volume. So it does have that aloe vera extract in it. It also has cherry bark extract, which um, is reported to have moisturizing and conditioning benefits, as well as chamomile extract, which is why it's called chamomile shampoo, right? So it actually can accentuate natural highlights and leaves a healthy sheen. Um, but it's also perfect for a sensitive scalp as well because chamomile is very soothing and calming to not only the hair, but the scalp. And then it has natural henna extract, which is colorless. So sometimes people hear henna and they're like, wait a minute, I don't want it to color my hair. It won't. It's actually going to kind of coat that hair shaft, giving it a reflective quality without adding color to the hair. Um, and then golden seal extract as well which is also used for soothing properties. It also has calendula extract, which is uh, the rich in antioxidants, can help accentuate the natural highlights of blonde and brown hair. It has hops extract, tree bark extract as well, and panthenol, the B, the vitamin, pro vitamin B5. Okay, so the soap bark, the tree bark extract actually has some astringent properties, um, but very mild. So that's why it's gentle enough to use daily. So I wanna know from you guys, out of those two shampoos, which have you used and which one do you like the best? Has some vitamin E in it as well and whole wheat protein as well. So so I, I love to use this one every once in a while just to kind of do more of that deep cleansing of my hair as well. Um, but you can actually use this and then you can use the Tri Protein Plus Deep Conditioner, which I'll talk about in just a second here. Um, but you can use these together. They, they pair nicely together. And will this product alter my hair color? No, it won't. Um, it will actually kind of brighten the appearance of your natural highlights, but it won't actually brighten the color of your hair. So this is a conditioner that would go great with either two of those shampoos. It's called the tri Protein Plus Deep Conditioner. Um, it's really made to relax stressed hair. It conditions and softens hair, fights flyaways and frizz, and it's great for dry, damaged, and chemically treated hair. Um, so once again, it has the aloe leaf juice extract in. It also has go-to cola which is an Indian pennywort. Um, it's a vine-like plant native to India and has been used uh, for thousands of years. It's been reported to support normal microcirculation and also has other soothing benefits as well. 
and it has, again, hydrolyzed wheat protein in, which is a conditioning protein. So how do you use it? You guys, anytime you are using any conditioner, what I recommend is first thing you do, wash your hair when you get in the shower. Um, try to squeeze out all the moisture in your hair. You want to work the conditioner from the ends up to the roots, um, just because you don't want to actually weigh down your hair. And then you might want to leave it in for about five minutes before you wash it out. The longer, the better, because it gives it time to actually penetrate and work on the hair shaft. But you can use it with the chamomile shampoo, but you can also use it with the ultra shampoo as well. So is this product great for curly hair? Absolutely. All right, so we have something called structure hair gel. And if you're anything like me and you've used every gel on the market, a lot of gels out there get sticky, stiff, and are hard to wash out of the hair. Um, in fact, sometimes they'll actually, you can see like, like residue on the hair. I would have men come in and I'm like, I have to shampoo their hair a couple times to get stuff out. That's what I love about this one, you guys. It's actually, it holds really well, but it's not sticky and it washes out of the hair. It actually washes out really easily. Um, but you can still get like that maximum hold and it gives a little bit of shine, but it won't get that like, I don't know, that hard gel look. Um, I guess if you would maybe use enough, maybe it would do that, but I have one son who has amazing hair. He's very blessed to have the hair he has. And he used to actually have me style his hair every morning. And I would use this with a blow dryer and his hair would stay like that all day. He would come home, you know, after playing at school or whatever, and his hair would still look absolutely amazing. Um, so it works really well. And you don't need a lot too. This is like an eight ounce bottle and I swear it lasts for, oh my gosh, even my husband uses it. It lasts for quite a while. Um, but it too has the hydrolyzed wheat protein in it, and it also has vitamin A and E, which are antioxidants. So um, even though it's a gel, it's actually good to use it in your hair. I feel like it's not a very high alcohol content too, like some in the market, which, you know, if you know anything about alcohol, it's going to dry out the hair. So it's good that it doesn't have that in there as well. So how do you use it? Work a small amount through the hair. And it's great for blow drying, roller sets, wet looks, use a larger amount, of course, to get super hold, but it's water soluble. So that's really why it does shampoo, shampoo out really easily. And will it dry out your hair? Actually, no, it will uh, add condition and hyd hydrating and shine to the hair. So um, you don't have to worry about using it too often or too much. And uh, Will my hair be crunchy? Use this product that's directed and avoid oversaturation and you won't get that crunchy feeling. <laughs> I'm sure you all know, like tell me in the comments, do you know what I'm talking about when I say crunchy feeling? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's not a good thing unless that's what you're going for. All right, so let's talk about some more styling products here. Um, we have our Awa Pui Gel Mousse and it smells so amazing. And what's great about this is it's not uh, an aerosol bottle. So it's great for the environment. And it's, uh, it's a pump, but then it comes out and it foams. So it's a great conditioning styling mousse. It promotes volume, body, and natural shine to the hair. But it also helps prevent breakage and dryness and free of heavy oils that weigh down the hair. Um, so still, again, very nice styling product that's gentle. It's enriched with awapui, aloe vera, kiwi, mango, passion fruit, whole wheat protein, and panthenol. So there might be other products on the market that you've heard of that are like awapui mousse. Um, very similar consistency, uh, very similar smell as well. And it absolutely works great. So what's the difference between a gel and a mousse? Styling gels actually have quite a bit of hold, but are a little bit heavier than mousse. I prefer using mousses in hair that's uh, a little bit more curly or a little bit more finer because it's not going to be quite as heavy on the hair. Um, so you can just kind of like scrunch this in and you can either let it air dry or use a little bit of a like a diffuser or a low uh, blow dryer level and that's going to look absolutely great on there as well. But you can also 
use it to kind of smooth the hair a little bit too. Um, it gives great volume at the scalp if you want to use it there as well. All right, so we also have something called the Hold and Shine Hairspray. So this is a hairspray in an aerosol pump. Um, it's got pretty nice hold to it. Um, I will say too that it doesn't leave a residue on the hair, so it really does wash out well. You don't have to worry about it getting built up. It's got still a flexible hold. Now I will tell you though, it does, the. Uh, nozzle can get clogged because it's a hairspray and it's in a pump and that's really common with products that have pumps. So you just might have to run it under hot water every once in a while to kind of help loosen that up a little bit and then it'll work as good as new. But it does condition with each application. Why? Because it has aloe vera extract in it. It also has uh, chamomile flower extract in it as well, um, which you know, again, like these are styling products, but it has like things that are actually good for the hair. Look at all these other ingredients in this Hold and Shine spray. It has the natural henna extract, which we already learned about. It has the calendula extract. It has the hops extract, the pro vitamin B5. It also has phytranchinol, which is a proprietary ingredient that has multiple functions. Um, it's been reported to enhance the benefits of all active, other active ingredients like amino acids and panthenol, therefore promoting the hair's natural shine and suppleness. And it also helps maintain the hair's natural strength and protects the hair from damage related to blow drying. And then it has jojoba seed oil in it as well, which um, it's a great hair conditioning agent. So you won't again get that like stiff, crispy feel um, but it will add a little bit of shine and it will add that hold. Also has some sweet almond oil in it, vitamin D3, has the hydroly hydrolyzed wheat protein, vitamin A and vitamin E. So have you ever seen that many vitamins and good ingredients in a hairspray? That's really hard to find you guys. Like if you have any other products at home, look at the back of your hairspray and see what ingredients are in. So is it environmentally friendly? Yes, because it's a non-aerosol pump. Will it dry out my hair like other hairsprays do? No, it won't because it has all of those things in it which help hydrate the hair. Plus it's a low alcohol content as well. Is it gentle enough for daily use? Absolutely, you can use it every day, all day. All right, so now that we went over our styling products, I just wanted to touch on our essential oils. So um, we actually have these come in a pack of five different oils and they are all blends of oils. So I'm not gonna get in depth on the oils just because we do have another webinar that just goes over the oils. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It was by Trisha Williams, one of our, our skincare experts. But we basically have one oil for every move. We have Elevate, Focus, Balance, Calm, and Refresh. And each one has their own blend. So Elevate has orange peel, grapefruit peel, lemon peel, tangerine peel, and spearmint oil. Refresh has orange peel, rosemary, lemon peel, eucalyptus, tea tree, and frankincense. Calm has peppermint oil, tea berry oil, clove leaf oil, eucalyptus. Balance has orange peel, eucalyptus, narrow leaf peppermint, lavender, yin yang, and then focus has eucalyptus, lemon, tea tree, camphor, peppermint oil, wild mint, linalool, and bay leaf, along with frank incense. So Elevate's going to kind of give you more of that uplifting fragrance. It's going to encourage a positive move and outlook. Um, it also inspires positive feelings, creates cheerful environments to combat stressors. So like I basically just think like I'll smell them and be like, okay, what do I need today? You know, how am I feeling today? I actually put these oils in a diffuser when I have my clients come. Um, usually it's going to be more of like the balance or refresh or calm, you know, depending on if they're coming after work or what time of the day it is. Um, so focus is going to give you more of a sharper mental focus. It also encourages mental alertness. 
balance it is great for kind of that relaxing, uh, invites a sense of calm, but also inspires a sense of internal balance. Calm is going to be more soothing, great for calming massage before or after exercise, as well as refresh is going to kind of give you uh, the sense of feeling refreshed and awake and gives you alertness. So on those days where you're like, oh my gosh, I need to be a little bit more awake, that's perfect. On those days that I feel like I'm like kind of ADD, then focus <laughs> is a great one for, for me for that day. Um, so they all kind of do a, a little bit different thing. So I know there's always a lot of like questions like, how do I use the oils? Um, you can actually use them uh, in diffusers or for aromatherapy or topically. So for an oil diffuser, you want to mix with about three to four drops with 50 milliliters of water. Um, I have a couple different diffusers. Some have water in them. I also have just an air diffuser as well. Usually the diffusers have directions on them. Um, and then for topical use, you want to apply one to two drops on your hands or flex points or dilute as needed with a carrier oil. We have coconut oil. Um, you can use olive or grape seed. Depending on the skin sensitivity, it's re recommended that you test a small area of the skin before use in case of allergies. Um, you always want to be careful with that because, you know, even though these things are essential oils, people can be sensitive to natural things as well. So can you ingest the oils? No. Um, these are for external use only. And when should I use each blend? Just really depending on your mood. Um, smell them. Your body will kind of tell you. Like you'll be attracted to which one you know you should be using that day and what should i do if i experience skin irritation discontinue use and also do not use water to try to dilute the oil as it will make irritation worse you want to use a carrier oil um, i have them in roller balls that i like to use i just mix a couple drops in with and fill the roller bottle up with uh the the coconut oil and you know they're good to go i travel with them to keep me calm on long flights you never know when you're going to need that so what is the great quality of the oils used um they're actually made up of both pure and commercial grade essential oils so um they're good quality i've actually i love them i i mean i i usually panic if i'm running out of my oil so i always make sure i have an extra one so all essential oil blends are natural and contain no synthetics. Um, also, it's about the source. So the essential oils found in our blends are cultivated by farmers from over 30 countries around the world uh, with the best climate and soil. Because we are a product brokerage company, we, we are able to get the best of the best. So can I use essential oils on children? Um, our products are designed for adult use only. It's recommended that you consult your pediatrician or you know, use your best judgment if it's your own child. I'm gonna say that. So, so should I use the essential oils if I have a medical condition? Um, consult your physician with that as well. And then avoid placing your essential oil bottles in the heat and in light. Uh, that's why usually essential oils will be in uh, you know, colored bottles to kind of prevent the sunlight from hitting them. So I hope you guys like got a little bit out about, you know, the with the product knowledge and, um, you know, I think people don't really give our personal care products enough credit at times because they absolutely are great professional quality products. But I have to let you guys know that this actually this week, this Friday, we are going to be in New Hampshire and we have a new uh, Motives Beauty and Business Academy that we actually it's a four day academy where Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to tell you what you all learn. Um, but if you go to motivesacademy.com, we have the schedule there. We have everything you learn each day. Um, but it's an advanced training for those who want to work with salons and spas, those who want more in-depth knowledge of, you know, some of the products, skincare products, uh, beauty from the inside out products. Um, you know, just how to be more of a professional. It would be kind of like that next step training after kind of having the basics. And we need more people that are trained in this because like I said, we kind of have the answer, or I shouldn't say we kind of, we have the answer to 
the salon situation. Nobody else out there has the system training support that we have, and we need more people trained on how to help salons with this. You know, how to go in and implement different programs that are going to generate revenue, how to go in and, uh, you know, help them look at, you know, what's working and what's not working and be there for them and guide them and, you know, help them along the way become more successful. Nobody else is doing that. They don't have the, the products. They don't have anything like we have. So um, July 12th through the 15th, modusacademy.com. And next week, we have our skin specialist, Trisha Williams. Um, she's going to be talking about our skin intelligence. Uh, this is our, one of our skincare lines. And Trisha has over 24 years experience in the beauty industry. She owns her own custom skin spa and is a former owner of a different spa. Um, she's also been a certified na national trainer for over 13 years. And she specializes in customizing anti-aging skincare and cosmetic products. She happens to use all of her skincare products in her spa. So I'm super excited to hear her talk about the Skin Intelligence line. I know that it's one of her favorites. Um, she actually lives in Topeka, Kansas with her husband, Jason, and their two girls. And so she's so knowledgeable. You guys are going to learn so much from her. Um, so make sure you tune in. That's going to be next. Monday, same time as on a webinar. So you can go ahead and sign up for that. But for those of you that are watching the recording, thank you so much for joining me. And those that are watching live, let me know what your questions are and I will start answering them now. Um, but everybody have a really great night. Thank you so much for joining me and I will hopefully see all of you soon. Thank you.